This is the Shark Race R Pro GP 30th Anniversary Edition. In my personal opinion, I think this helmet is a hidden gem. Not a lot of people have it. You know, most people go for things like the AGV piece, the GPRR and things like that. Maybe it's just me, but I haven't seen this helmet that often on the street. All right, so in terms of looks, this helmet looks really mean, looks really clean, sleek. It's very aerodynamic and you can get it in a variety of different colors. I have uh, here, as you can see, the black and uh, silver look. You can get this 30th anniversary in a white and a red as well and you can also get a matte black. Now there are a couple other versions that you can get as well and the price is about $1,099 and at the time of this recording, the price for this 30th anniversary helmet is going for $879. So most of your race helmets are gonna have some sort of a spoiler on the back, you know, to reduce aerodynamic drag. And the Shark Race R Pro has a massive spoiler on the back. And this really does drastically reduce aerodynamic drag and pretty much keeps you stable, you know, at high speeds and reduces a lot of unwanted vibrations. So I've worn this helmet once on the road so far and I will say this thing feels great. As far as stability goes at higher speeds, the way that it feels on my head as far as comfort, how tight it is and keeping the wind out and how quiet it is, definitely an A plus in my book. Um, out of all of the helmets that I've owned so far, you know, I have the LS2 Thunder, the X-Lite 803 RS, I've owned the Pista GPRR from AGV and the Shoei X14. This helmet sits at the top of the list. All right, so the visor on this helmet is high strength. It does have a optical class one rating on it, and it's also variable. So unlike my Shoei X14 or my X-Lite 803 RS, the visor on those helmets are pretty thin in my opinion, but this is variable. So it's thick up front, and then it starts to thin out towards the sides. All right, now some may argue with me, but this helmet's visor is super easy to remove and install. It has a uh, really easy to use mechanism on the side. You really just push, twist, remove it, you know, vice versa, put it back on and push and twist it back and it's that simple. Also, if you don't like the red mounting bracket that's here on the side of the helmet and that comes stock on the Shark helmets, you can get an optional uh, black version, um, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, if that's something you're looking for and you wanna, you know, black everything out, you do have that option. All right, so one more thing on the visor, it does have little notches where it stops when you're opening and closing it. It just you know isn't full up or full down kind of like the AGV Pista and closing it is pretty simple as well. All right, so you do get notches here on the sides for race tear offs, but you do not get any in the box, unfortunately. Now the helmet is a carbon slash aramid fiber shell and the weight comes in at about 1600 grams, which is a little heavy compared to some of the other helmets. My X-Lite 803 RS comes in around 1300 grams or so. Um, so it's a little on the heavy end, but you really don't notice it all that much. Now we do get a DOT and an ECE rating on this helmet. As far as FIM goes, we do not get that here in the US. I'm not sure if that's you know sold in other countries, but most of your professional racers will have the FIM version. All right, so when it comes to airflow in this helmet, you get plenty of it. You get two vents up top, one vent right above the visor, and one vent right below the visor with two settings. In addition to that, you also get a filter that comes installed on the helmet, and I think that's pretty cool. It keeps some of the dust and particles out while you're riding. All right, so another cool feature that this helmet has is the breath guard. So you get the standard breath guard that comes in it, you know, you can wear during the summertime and things like that. But if you're gonna be riding in colder weather or doing some racing on the track, it comes with an anti-fog um, rubber breath guard, which is pretty cool that you can install. And it just keeps um, the air and stuff like that from fogging up your visor and it sits closer to your nose. Um, and I, I think it's pretty cool. I'm, I've been wearing it right now um, with the cold weather and it really does help. For those of you that wear glasses, Shark does have an easy fit glasses system as you can see right here. Now, not many race helmets have cutouts on the inside for speakers and the Race R Pro just happens to have them, which is pretty awesome. Now, you can use Shark's proprietary system or you can use something like a Cardo or a Senna. That way you can jam out to your tunes or communicate with your buddies while you're riding. So the overall fit and feel of this helmet is really good. It is super comfortable. And the only thing is it's a little hard to put on and take off. And that's due to the neck roll because it sits a little closer to your neck to keep a lot of the wind noise out. But the one thing you need to know is that this does run a little small. And a little backstory, I measure a size small. I know I have a small head. 
but I wear extra small on all of my helmets because I like my helmets to fit, you know, nice and snug. Now, I, I got an extra small in the matte black uh, version of this helmet, put it on, wore it around, thought, you know, it would wear in a little bit on the pads, um, and that wasn't the case. It was still uncomfortable, so I ended up going up a size to a small, and everything is fine. So just take note that, you know, you may have to go up a size. The other cool thing about the neck roll in this helmet is that it has optimal acoustic insulation. So what that means is it keeps a lot of the noise from the wind and, you know, sound, all that stuff that's going on on the outside out of the helmet and keeps the helmet really quiet. I will say, this is by far one of the quietest race helmets I've ever worn. And you really have to wear this helmet to see for yourself to know what I'm talking about. When you're out riding this thing and you have the visor up, everything you know sounds normal and stuff like that. But once you close that visor, this thing is quiet. Like it's, it's insane. I love it. I think this would make for a great uh, vlogging helmet as well. You also get an extra chin curtain inside of the box. And I like to call it like a stage two, if you will. You can snap that into the bottom, just sits a lot closer to your neck and that will further muffle the sound and keep a lot of that wind out. If I had to find anything negative about this helmet, I really don't have anything bad to say about this helmet other than it attracts a lot of fingerprints. That's about it. <laughs> but other than that, it is a great overall package for the features that it has, um, the price point, and some of the other helmets that it competes with. But if you're looking to pick this helmet up, definitely head over to Revzilla. I'll leave a link down in the description below. And if you already own this helmet or have questions, definitely drop me a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.